Hello everyone and welcome back to Destin Learning. In this video we're going to take a detailed look at the Linux kernel. Let's go ahead and get started. The Linux kernel is the core of the Linux operating system, bridging software and hardware. It manages resources, handles system calls, and provides process, memory, and device management. Initially released in 1991 by Linus Torvalds, it's been continually developed as by a global community. The Linux kernel is a monolithic kernel executing most processes in a single address space. It's open source, modular, and portable, making it versatile for various hardware platforms. The Linux kernel is a monolithic kernel executing most of the processes in a single address space for efficiency. It manages hardware resources, ensures security, and provides a foundation for software to run effectively. The Linux kernel is open source, allowing free modification under the GPL. It's modular, enabling dynamic addition or removal of functionality. Additionally, it's portable, working across various hardware platforms. The Linux kernel, developed by Linus Torvalds in 1991, has evolved significantly. Initially, for Intel x86 systems, it was relicensed under the GPL in 1992, fostering collaboration. By 1993, distributions like Slackware and Debian posted popularity. In the 2000s, it supported enterprise and mobile systems. Today, it powers servers, smartphones, and IoT devices globally. In 1991, Linus Torvalds developed the first Linux kernel initially for Intel x86 systems. By 1992, it was relicensed under the GPL, enabling collaboration with the Free Software Foundation and other developers. In 1993, Linux gained popularity with user-friendly distributions like Slackware and Debian. By the 2000s, the kernel evolved to support enterprise systems, mobile devices, and real-time processing. Today, it's maintained by a global community and powers most servers, smartphones, and IoT devices. The Linux kernel operates at a low level, interfacing with hardware and abstracting complexities for applications. Key areas include process management, memory management, device drivers, file system management, networking, interprocess communication, and security. File system management supports EXT4, XFS, and NTFS. It manages file permissions, organizes directories, and handles storage operations efficiently. An operating system manages processes, memory, device drivers, networking, interprocess communication, and security. It allocates CPU resources, provides virtual memory, and acts as an intermediary for hardware, implementing networking protocols, and ensures data protection with access control policies. Operating systems provide hardware abstraction, manage resource allocation, and offer system calls. It also handles errors and optimizes performance. System calls provide APIs for user space applications to request kernel services. Examples include file operations like open, read, write, and process controls such as fork and exec. An operating system performs key functions such as hardware abstraction, resource allocation, error handling, and performance optimization. It provides a consistent interface for applications, manages resources, detects and handles errors, and optimizes performance using various techniques. The Linux kernel architecture consists of three main layers, the user space, the kernel space, and the hardware layer. User space includes applications and library, kernel space handles processes and memory management, file systems and networking, device drivers, and inter-process communication. The hardware layer includes CPU, memory, storage, and network interfaces. The Linux kernel architecture consists of the user space, which includes applications and libraries like glibc and the system call interface, or SCI, that connects user space with the kernel space. Kernel space includes process management, memory management, file systems, networking stack, and device drivers, and inter-process communication. The hardware layer consists of several components, including the CPU, memory, storage, and network interfaces. In summary, the Linux kernel is essential in modern computing due to its modularity, performance, and open source nature. It powers Android phones and enterprise data centers, showcasing its wide-ranging impact. 
Well, that's all for this video. I hope it's given you some good details about the Linux kernel. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye for now.